Morning Warrior family, my name is Jillian Marshall and I am beyond excited because today I get to be doing the housing takeover on your Instagram feed today. Throughout the day I will show you my day-to-day -day routine as a resident advisor in University Towers as well as uh, what it's like to be an international student and an international student living on campus. Stay tuned! So I just got back to campus uh, before arriving, I made sure to fill out my campus daily screener, which is required of all Wayne State students, staff, faculty. Before arriving, you need to fill this out. So I made sure to do that. And because I'm commuting over the summer, I spent half of the week in Canada where I'm from and the other half of the week here at Wayne State in our res halls. Um, I decided to surprise the desk assistants with some Canadian specialty Timbits. Uh, just because everybody works so hard in this building and I want them to know how appreciated they are. Hey, my name is Mark Anderson. I'm the community director overseeing University Tower Apartments. Um, we're so excited to hopefully see you on Saturday for our open house because we want to show off this beautiful building to you. Um, it's a great place. Amazing residents, amazing student leaders. So please come check it out. Everybody. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jillian Marshall. I am going into my fourth year here at Wayne State University as a senior. I am an international student from Canada, which I am very proud to share with all of you. I am a theater major with honors, and I also have a double minor in musical theater and dance. Uh, some fun facts about me are that I love to bake, and I am bilingual in French and English. I just took a walk to main campus from University Towers and right behind me we have our beautiful student center building. It is such a pleasure to be so close to campus and so close to all these wonderful events and buildings that we have. It's super hard to miss an event here on campus when you're living here because you're in it every day. You kind of are in the know of what's going on and it's super awesome to be involved in things that are going on on campus. You get to meet so many new people and you make so many awesome connections with students, staff, faculty, volunteers, and other things going on in our community. A few of you reached out to me regarding accessibility on campus. Wayne State is super awesome for having so many restaurants available on campus within walking distance as well as off campus within walking distance as well. And if you're not somebody who is super comfortable or doesn't love walking, there's a lot of options um, for non-walkers as well, such as getting an e-scooter, which are available on campus. We also have bikes for rent on campus. And if you have a bike, we are a bike friendly campus as well. We also have the Q line and we also have have uh, city buses that run in and out of our campus as well. Everybody, we're back at University Towers and I'm here with one of the desk assistants as well as the senior desk assistant. What are your guys' favorite parts about living on campus? Living with the people uh, from different parts of the world okay. and that's very good. Awesome, and how about you? Uh, making new friends, so that's good. Awesome, thank you. Yes, what an awesome question. The housing department is in fact hiring students. I'm a student right now and I work for the university as a resident advisor. And there's also students who work in the central housing office and as desk assistants. Yes, a hundred times yes. If you're an exchange student, I would say living on campus is probably one of the best things that you can do because you're truly in it and you get the full on-campus experience of Detroit and of Michigan. Hi there! So from an international student standpoint, it feels awesome to be able to study abroad and study at Wayne State University. I've made so many new friends and so many new connections and if you're an international student, studying abroad at Wayne State is the way to go. Most people at University Towers will park in our parking garages. It's very convenient because right behind me, you can see from my window, we have a parking garage right behind our building. It's super convenient and it's super awesome for students with cars on campus. The open house that we have going on on Saturday is not limited to University Towers. It's actually open for all of the rest halls that we have on our campus. 
For the open house on Saturday, you will have the opportunity to look at the showrooms that we have put together for you, designed specifically for each building. In my opinion, the purpose of a resident advisor is to be a resource to all of my residents and students on campus, as well as make housing feel as much like home as possible. My favorite part about being an RA is just being able to help people. If at the end of the day I can walk away helping somebody and making their day better, then I think my goal has been accomplished. I would have known how much of a positive experience and impact that housing would have had on me. Um, housing has been the number one support system for me as a student, not just an international student, but I'm so, so thankful of housing and for housing. This is a great question. I mean, I would answer it yes, and I know my residents would as well. Um, but hopefully, maybe in like 2030, I can come on here and ask this question and it'll still be the same answer. Honestly, I think that everybody should live on campus. It's just such a fun experience and you get to be on campus, involved, getting to know people and making connections and knowing resources that the university offers. It's amazing. So many, but if I had to choose one, it would definitely be when the campus activities team gave us the opportunity to go on a riverboat tour and we got to see the Canadian and the U.S. side on a riverboat at night and it was just beautiful. I believe the rules right now are that any international student arriving to campus must be in contact with the campus health center and they will be assigned a quarantine room to quarantine for two weeks upon arriving. Somebody wants to become an RA, which I highly, highly recommend because it looks amazing on a resume and I've made so many great friends and had so many amazing experiences. You need to go through the RA selection process, which I'd be happy to explain if you want to send me a DM depends on your exact situation but you're free to contact the housing office and they'd be happy to go through um, a process with you to find out your exact situation so that housing can truly be home for you and make it financially available for you. Hi everybody it's time for me to sign off for those of you who followed along today thank you so much and thank you for everyone who participated in questions i hope to see you all at the open house on saturday and i hope to see you on campus next fall in university towers and on campus thank you so much for the opportunity and have a great night everybody bye